Man, let's give God a great big praise for hallelujah, his word. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We are going to now turn it over to Minister Joel and his lovely wife, my sister, Sherilyn Ross. We're Joel and Sherilyn Ross, and we are um, so thankful to God for what he's doing. We had issues in the area of rejection. It was like, I'm done, she ain't ready yet, or she's done and I'm not ready. So I was, I knew as a child I had this insecurity to get, imagine the spirit of anger being on him and violence and um, men needing respect and women needing security. And here I am with this puffed up prideful attitude of um, coming from the, stemming from the spirit of rejection that I have to protect myself before um, I'm rejected again. So I, I walked with this false sense of humility, false sense of confidence. So when if my husband spoke, just my look and the way I said it was very sarcastic. Intimacy is the crowning moment of every marriage and you want to get there. How come I'm here again? How come we're sitting at the edge of this bed, both of us crying, doing the same foolishness and we can't stop it? We're breaking the things off our life now for our, not only for ourselves, for our own, but for generations to come. Here's the problem with us. We aid and abet the enemy by staying ignorant. God said he would reject us if we refuse to get the knowledge. Here's the problem with us. We aid and abet the enemy by staying ignorant. But we also live in a state of rejection because your spirit man knows that God is currently rejecting you because you don't know what you need to know. Yeah. And so if you already have the spirit of rejection working against you, you are even more rejected in your spirit because you have stubbornly stayed away from the word of God. And so the, the secret really isn't Kevin and Deidre, Frank and Heda or Sherilyn and myself. The moment you begin to embrace the word of God and you live off of that word, you begin to free yourself from the spirit of rejection because now God is beginning to embrace you because you're embracing his word.